Hello there, 2008 FLHRC Road King Classic. No, those are not beach bars. <laughs> All right, I was experimenting because I don't want a painters. I don't want anything, you know, I just needed a little bit of height, at least two inches from the stock handlebars, which I'm happy with. I put two inch risers, and I'll show you that modification once I'm done. So I had buttoned it down to uh, torque specs, but I went out riding and I noticed once I let go of the handlebar, the amount of vibration on the handlebar, the amount of vibration on the mirror, it was getting so shaky that it was distorting. If I let go of the handlebars, I couldn't see the reflection on the mirror because it was shaking so much that it was distorting it. And sure enough, the culprit was these rubber stock Harley bushings. They come in, uh, on the left and right side, they come in four pieces, five pieces, sorry. They come in five pieces, your chrome cap, your rubber bushing, your metal sleeve, and then the top part. No? All right. So everyone's recommendation when they put the uh, new handlebars or in this case this bike is 11 years old um, obviously everything wears and tears and becomes old and dilapidated or very very bad so this is what I came up with from alloy art gooden polyurethane bushings they come left and right Four pieces only. The metal sleeve is built into oopa. The metal sleeve is built into the collar. So that'll help stiffen this part up. The polyurethane is, is firm enough. And from what I read, this will help eliminate that obnoxious vibration. And yes, if you're going to do an upgrade, put uh, ape hangers, change your bushings. Because if you're doing work, you might as well spend the extra 25 bucks and get new, new bushings. I'll install, I'll show you what I did, and I'll keep you posted.